All right, hello traders, happy Monday. So as I've said before, Monday is not a trading day for me. I just like to gather information and plan for the week ahead. Monday is great to see, especially this time of day for me. It's near New York Open now. So I want to see what's going on, what the feel for things is. Uh, Euro, it was sort of looking uh, bearish at the very start of the day. And now, you know, you could, you could sort of, Put a case um, intraday for a long potentially. How's it looking? It's busted through. Pretty laggy. Very laggy. Monday, Monday artist. So, what this nearly is is like a last kiss. So, we sort of bust through and then yeah, I, you don't really want to see that, but I mean, it can come through again and then take off and a bounce off the, the zone there. So, that's a potential. We'll go back to the four hour now. I'm just going to. There's a point like. About four or five weeks after I get a haircut, and things just get pretty crazy with my hair. Um, it doesn't get like wavy like a normal white person. It gets curly, so um, definitely need a haircut soon. All right, so I didn't actually make. There was no live trades this morning, so I got up, went to, you know, had a run, and then um, there's just nothing on. With a lot of time frames as well, when there's low liquidity, the spreads are wider. So you just don't trade. If the spreads are wide, you just I don't trade. It's just the name of the game. Like you've got to <laughs> you got to stack things in your favor a little bit. Um, oh, the EG is um, okay. That, that's better. Like it hasn't gapped now. Um, Euro pound is sort of short um, ish. Interesting, interesting from Euro pound. But not watch this one because it's sort of held and. Um, Interesting to see where this this candle no that's that's pretty okay so this candle is going to close at one a.m. so um okay so e, EU is a potential long Aussie this is the first time I've actually scanned the charts properly since this morning I didn't make a video there was nothing there was nothing worth if I never make a video it's it's and you don't see anything on my social I'm not I'm, I'm not trading I'm not participating in the market so. Because I will, to best of my ability, share things. And if I, I'll get, if I do get in a trade, I'm going to share that trade right after I, I get into it as well, just to sort of um, be transparent and keep me accountable. Because it's good for me not to do dumb things. Because it's embarrassing to share it on social media. For example, last week that was a little, you know, to be honest, it was embarrassing. A couple of trades, Euro, Aussie, and Swiss yen. That was negative four percent. So, you know, a bit of a Punch in the head. And a punch in the head is not fun as well. For most people, being punched in the head isn't fun. So now the Aussie dollar is looking looking pretty strong. It's just eased a little bit. I mean it got to 72 75 was the high. So what I'm looking at is Euro Aussie long potentially. Sort of petered down a little bit now. So, I mean, both of these are short the Aussie and the New Zealand as well. I want to see New Zealand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, very similar. Watch this. Again, no trades. You just want to gather some information. Just want to see what's going on. Sometimes for the rest of the week, I might go long. So, you want to sort of wait till European Tuesday session and then, you know, pull the trigger there. So, Will I be trading if something's really great? Um, I will, but it has to be really great. So, and because last week was not too pretty, so the looking line of member is going to be negative, unfortunately. So Euro Aussie, what is going on here? Euro Aussie is a potential long. It's looking short actually. Not right now. Not right now. So. I want to see what the pound's doing. I hope everyone had a fantastic day today. If you are just starting your day, if you're in America or Europe, hello. Hope you're having a great day too. It's the end of the day for me on Monday, the 26th of November. Pound is not tradable. That is rubbish. So it's just chopping about. It's... You know, I mean, it'll probably go along a little bit, and there's some recent resistance. It's just you want to sort of 
stack the odds in your favor a little bit when you're pursuing a trade and not just get into a trade to be into a trade because I did that last week, you know, and it's amateur hour when I'm doing that sort of stuff and you need to see the consequences. Pound yen, bit of a rally. So yen weakness in the pound isn't too bad against the US dollar. So the pound is probably stronger than the than the US is against the yen. So that's something to pay attention to as well. Um, we'll see what someone wants to do here, but the pound yen is interesting too as a long. So I might have been talking about a short before, but no, um, it's bounced. So we'll see what it wants to do. But again, no like trades tonight. I'll be I'll be participating tomorrow morning potentially if there are trades. I'll be making a video. I'll be going to the gym, so I'll I'll be like you're looking at probably 10:30 Sydney time. My first video will be out. So uh, check that out, guys. Uh, stay safe in the trading world as well, and enjoy. Bye for now.